quote. Hey. What's up, everyone? <laughs> Jason from Jaspi's Case Break. Jaspi's Case I know, right? Yeah, 2022 Top Series 1 Jumbo Six Box Case Break uh, Random Teams Number 1. Our only full random teams break. We've been doing three random teams and personal random boxes. Yeah, full 30 uh, this spot is break. our 30 spot break. Rip Party break as well. This will be another break where we'll give away two Rip Party packs at the end of the break. The two lucky customers. Number all card ship. Everybody got a random team in the MLB. We did the randomizer separately a little earlier today. And there you go. There's everybody there. Levi got last one with Joe Orioles. All the way down there. So Joe's going to help pack stack for this last one as well. Put me a box here. Here we go. So again, no other breaks are happening tonight. But tomorrow, we'll be back at 3 o'clock Pacific. Maybe. Yeah, around there. <laughs> I think I'm going to tell Nick to have, like, Teddy stick for, like, an extra hour, maybe. It's like, four. But we'll be back tomorrow. I'll, you. I'll, I'll show you. Just one time. All right. There we go. So we're still missing that Wander Franco autograph on the case breaking side. Looks like we hit one on Instagram. But, overall, it's been some nice stuff. Hey, what happens when this happens? Um, Look at this, there's Christian Yelich right there. Then so there there would the have been, been a wander there. Oh, really? Okay. You know, you know that's I mean? true, technically. Burns, wander, oh, yeah. Yelich. So that, You're right. that could have been, that's in a different pack somewhere. So then Burns is going to be on top of him then. Not the other Somewhere app. else, yeah. Somewhere in the world it'll just be however these cards were randomized and stacked. You know what? Then those are the boxes probably that are missing Wander. Like you said, if there was one like maybe that didn't have they one. Either have zero or have two. And then have two, yeah. So thank you for everybody that's still here. Looks yeah. like we have 15 people still thank here. Thank you so much. Appreciate the support. And there's Wander there to start us off. Although, yeah, I guess this is a group break, so. That is true, yeah. All the people have oh, stay like, up like right at the it's, end. It's a group break. So Ronnie like, Dawson. Um, to 50. So whoever has the raise will still get some water. Mm-hmm. Kevin Dixon, yes. <laughs> and also, thank you to Tops for allowing us to be part of the rip party again. I did it live two years ago in Dallas at AT&T Stadium. That was a lot of fun. Very, very long day, though, but it was a lot of fun. And obviously now with these times, I think virtual is probably a little bit easier. pattern in this case is off. Well, that too. I already got a wander earlier. I didn't realize if there was like in between them, I guess. I just seen it. Jackson Coar. And that's a rookie short print. That has to be our first rookie short print. At least mine. Yeah. That is number 60. Oh, nice. And that's for KC and Greg Milner. Junior. Trout. Nice 
Ted Williams. Let's go see how like that. Austin Meadows. Materials. Little relic there for the White Sox. Bob with that one. Jesse said he saw a one of one city patch. Thing. Oh wow! But it wasn't like it didn't look. He said it didn't look different. It was just one of one. Those it was just on the back. Turn just around, around one. one. Yeah. City Pride. The only one I've ever seen, I think City Pride was like t out of 10. The short is for nice game. I think Joe's already ripping those, so we'll start off every box with those. Buxton Blue. Number to 150. Jaron Duran. Hey, what are, the, what are the Eagles doing with Jalen Hurts? Look, dude, I have no idea. Is that up in the air? <laughs> I don't know why everybody's linking Russell Wilson. To really? Us. Everybody keeps on saying, even Albert Breer says, that's the that? most likely, the NFL, one of the reporters, oh. he's linking him as one of the most potential landing spots. Look, they announced it right after the season that he's their guy, he's the future, we're going to build around him, but they, I think they'll forever be linked to these quarterbacks until they realize, until they draft somebody with all three of those. Mm -hmm. Because that's, this will be the only year they'll be able to trade for a quarterback, potentially, because they have so much firepower. Jose Ramirez. I don't know, I would love for them to keep him, but I don't know, if you have the opportunity to get a Russell Wilson... I mean, even Deshaun Watson. I mean, I don't know. Do you take that risk? I don't know about Deshaun Watson. I just feel like, what if the league just goes yeah. on and spend a break games? Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, like, that's oh, the one thing. Oh. Russell Wilson. I mean, he's good, but I don't know. He's a little bit on the older side. But I mean, I guess everybody's saying the logic is like go trade for an older veteran quarterback that's established and How old if is he's Russell your missing Wilson? piece. He's a rookie in 2012. Probably went to school for four years, so he's got to be like 30, 30, 32 maybe. Yeah, so he's got another eight years. Maybe, yeah, yeah. I mean, exactly. with the way quarterbacks are Yeah, the way quarterbacks are playing nowadays. Playing yeah. nowadays. I don't know. I mean, you think... Like, 
is, are the are the Eagles a Russell Wilson away from winning another? No, Super I don't Bowl think so. No, no. In not the next really. two years, two three. Two years, years? probably not next year for sure. Oh, two, three. Years. Like let's say you you sign and you extend Russell Wilson for like five years. Yeah. I mean, I think they can. But I think I think they need to get some big pieces in this playoff or in this uh, draft to help uh, their potential, like you know, Super Bowl run or potential playoff run in the NFC. Because NFC was, East is kind of soft. I know. <laughs> like it could be had, you know. Yeah. Like so that's why I think Eagles have like Devonta Smith, they have Goddard. They probably need another one more receiver. They need some DN help because Brian and Grab and those guys are getting right, old. Right, right, right. Um, you can always use a good linebacker safety, so I don't know. It's like a little bit of part of me says I would love to have Russell Wilson on my team, but then I'm probably gonna have to lose all three of my first rounders this year to get him. Ooh, that's right. And that's if it was two and we can keep one, I'd like that. But Maybe give up two and then give them another one next year. And I think that's why the Eagles are connected, right? Cause yeah, because they have they have all those draft capital that right. that teams right. want basically. So they're like an easy target. I don't know. I mean, I hope not. I think Jalen could be the guy, but... I think so, too. I think he... Read that, Mercy. He's still super young. He's like 23. Yeah. He's like younger than all these quarterbacks that are getting in the draft. That's the crazy part. He was drafted like as a 21-year-old quarterback. Right, so... Yeah. Or, yeah, 2021. Where, where did he come again? Well, I went to Alabama for the first three, and then went right. to Ohio. Oklahoma. Oklahoma, that's what it was. That's right, that's right. I, don't know, I talked to Gary about that. He said he he hates him because he says he doesn't have a strong enough arm. I'm like, oh, well, he he can still make throws. I mean, he's dual threat, but I'll we'll see. I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like the strong enough arm argument sometimes. Like, how often are you? Do you really need to throw like yeah. seventy yards down the field? I know. You yeah. don't do that very often. But every single quarterback has a strong enough arm to throw the ball. Mm -hmm. 30 yards, 20 yards, yeah. that's what you're doing anyway, right? Trey Turner. So. I don't know, if you were the Eagles, would you not do that trade? I would do it in a heartbeat. You would do a Russell Wilson trade? Yeah. yeah that's the thing. Absolutely, but try not to, try try not to, I mean, you have to send Jalen back. Yeah, you're going to have, you're going to lose Jalen for sure. And then that's, that's the way you not try not to lose your first round picks. Yeah, maybe two first rounders two in Jalen. Two first rounders in Jalen, correct. Yeah, maybe that's something they can potentially do. And because then, and then I would extend Russell Wilson for like five to seven years if you want yeah. to live in Philadelphia. Like, yeah. You know, if that's where he wants to be. I wouldn't do it if he doesn't extend though. Yeah, you'd have to kind of be sure, right? Like, what, you are you gonna be, be like, here? You're gonna be like, if we if we take you, do you want to sign a five year contract, five to seven year contract with no complaints? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear about like rumblings that you want to leave because we're going to build something around you. Yeah. Because, I don't know, Devonta Smith, you guys have the skill position pieces. Yeah, we got a good tight end. We got a good receiver. Running backs are solid by committee. Right. You know. Committee it. Refresh the offensive line for yeah. him. You know, add another wide receiver in the next year or two. Yeah, we can still get free agents. We have a lot free of... Free we'll, we'll have... I think we're... In the cap space. I think we're starting off with like 25 million cap and then we're probably going to cut some people or restructure. all that to the defense, you know? Yeah. The rest... Because that's what the Bengals did. Yeah. Bengals just like got free agent defense, added Jamar Chase and a couple other offensive yeah. weapons. Now, now their whole draft is just going to be offensive line. That's all they need. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> and all their cap space that they have. They, yeah. I think they still have a They got now. a lot of cap space too. It will just be like... With no line to get there that far, I mean, that shows a lot, so... All they have to do, yeah, and all they have to do is just draft a couple offensive linemen and then get a couple free agent offensive linemen. Just get some yeah. veterans there. And then, ta-da. I would just hope that the Seattle would want, like, Jalen for it instead of a first-rounder. Unless it could be greedy, like, no, give me three and Jalen. No, I mean, I don't that's know like if like I want to That's like yeah. four first-rounders. I don't want to give up everything. But it's like already I already have like a potential first round quarterback for you. Yeah. It's already been in the league a couple years. It's been marinating. Mm -hmm. Well what about your Raiders? Like is this car's gonna be there? I think so. I think they're gonna extend him. Really? Because there's been some talk about Derek Carr saying, I'll take a haircut on mm -hmm. my on my contract if you give me, like, if you tell me that we're going to put this extra money towards getting Devontae Adams. Wow. But Devontae's not going to go if Aaron Rodgers doesn't go, right? You think he actually would leave? For Derek Carr, yeah. 
Really? Yeah, they're, I think they're still friends. Okay. Like from college. Yeah. So like. Or like it wouldn't be a possibility if Aaron just calls up the Raiders saying like, "Hey, I'm, I want to come to Oakland." Then what? I mean, then I think the Raiders say, "Thanks, Derek." <laughs> <laughs> just like in a trade for yeah, something. I, mean, it's yeah. like, I think I think that's what you got to do. Yeah, right. Sorry, Derek, but like we're gonna let, we're gonna trade you or cut you. Well, look at Carson Wentz. They're saying that he's gonna get cut or traded before the fifteenth of March. Isn't that crazy to think? Yeah. Like. They don't want to pay him the fifteen million dollars he's guaranteed by that day, so they're going to try their so best to trade. Another quarterback looking for a job, you can probably yeah. get him at a discount. Because Carson Wentz at fifteen million, you're like. Eh. And you got to think Mariota's going to be gone too. I mean, unless he's going right. to be a backup again. There's a lot of quarterback shuffling that happens. It's just crazy. I, I just don't think. I, I, like, I'm kind of leaning towards Green Bay just not giving up on Aaron Rodgers. I well, yeah, they said I they're ready to. Blow the bank. Yeah, I think I think now with those kind of rumors coming out, I think they're just gonna be like, listen, we'll give you as much money as you want. Like, yeah, we'll give you forty seven million, whatever it you is. Know? And then we'll we'll tell you like Yeah, what do you want? I, I, dude, they're Ross, I don't know what he wants. Does he want Devontae Adams back? Because I think we're assuming he can't does. pay you forty million dollars. Well they can I guess they can uh tag him for another year. Oh, if Devante they need Adams, to. They can tag him, franchise tag, tag him and then you know, hopefully that's the only extra year they need Rogers for, and then maybe he retires her. Hmm. It's gonna be crazy. The off season gonna be wild. Yeah, it's gonna be really because crazy. there's like major and there's a lot needs. of receivers that are majorly like, gonna be like free agents. Right. And I want the Eagles to trade for uh, Calvin Ridley. That's what I want. Mosley wants to play with Jalen and Devonte. Adrian Belcher, and you might get him wow, on the cheap. That would, that would be interesting. You might get him on the cheap because he kind of doesn't want to be in Atlanta. He had, like, those mental problems and mental yeah. health and that stuff. Yeah, was, I don't think he was happy there anymore. Hmm. I see all this, all, all this craziness in the NFL. All right, guys. We're pretty much halfway through the break. Once I get done with this, postseason patches there. That's Corbin Burns. Adrian Beltre autograph for Texas. That was Michael Gulich. Michael Gulich, you had a shot a pretty good break this tonight. Had some good teams. Got some hits. Hands up. Playing Kershaw. Jason, you didn't want any more of these Italian sausage and peppers and stuff. I didn't right? even need that, no. Okay, you can throw that away. Christian Yelich. The 2022 Marlins. All right, last three right here, guys. Last three. Whoa, actually, this one's gonna have an autograph, guys. Gavin Sheets, first of all, blue to 150. And an autograph here of Xander Bogarts. That is a base card parallel autograph. Boston Red Sox. That's going to Matthew Stubblefield. It's our second uh, autograph in the random teams breaks. Bogarts, I think the last one we got was orange. This one was actually just a not... I don't know if it's not numbered, but at least it's an autograph. Last one. Oops. 
Nate Pearson. Huh? Were you sleeping? <laughs> I feel like you were. I thought you were at one point. <laughs> you pressed in your want eyes. Want some Marshawn Lynch power? <laughs> no, I heard it. Wander Franco. I know, Marshawn Lynch is crazy. He actually did that like every game. It's one eight skittles in the middle of a game. You party full packs out already? Yeah, I got two right there, yeah. Oh, random teams, yeah, definitely. It's like 40 minutes compared to the hour. It's because the random box, you had to do the randomizer still, and then you had to like number them and then split them up, and that kills like 10, 15 minutes a while. I mean, it's kind of surprising how much that adds, and then all of a sudden, yeah. five breaks later, two, four, six, eight, that's almost like an hour and a half, two, almost two hours that are added, even if it's just 20 minutes a break. That's yeah. wild. Until we were just so I guess, you know, Nick was kind of right. If, if it was all random teams, I guess we could have been done by like one-ish, one o'clock. For sure. I think so. Yeah. Well, I appreciate the help for the sorting team. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah no, no, the no, random no. box, yeah. I'm sure the sorting team loves the random boxes. So, maybe we'll just switch off every year. <laughs> <laughs> Next year it'll be random teams. It'll be easy for the breakers. And then, well, if they could just make the hours earlier, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't mind that. Kind of screwed on that. 6.30. I don't know why I taught. Should have been like 6.30 uh, Pacific. Or Eastern, sorry. Would have been 3.30 here. 3.30 here. Yeah. We would have been... Because they been, started at 3. Who? Or central. What? Like no, else. I think Tops. No, they just no did I think it all everybody was. Oh. Jansen Junk. Yeah, whether you're in the East Coast or not. So you were starting at 9.30 in the East Coast. Right? Some people were starting at 9.30 on the East Coast, yeah. right? Oh. It's kind of wild. What the heck? I mean, it's only, I guess, three and a half hours before the release, technically. I mean, I guess they have. Yeah, but why not earlier? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they'll maybe they'll get some feedback from us and they'll... We'll send some feedback. What time did we start in Dallas? Is that early? Um, I, like early. I think we started like around two or three o'clock. I want to say, at least around there, because we were there for a long time. I feel like I was there for like ten hours. All right, second half here. Like us at like the other show. Do you need the uh, the shipping room? I'm gonna start closing yeah. things, yeah. shutting things down. Should be so good. Alrighty, guys. We have the rest of this and then two more boxes, everybody. Nolan Arnado. Robert Alrighty guys So again um, Down to the last Two boxes guys Two boxes I'll take you there Kevin Gosman 
And the Beebs, Shane Bieber. Let's get a big short print, big rookie autograph, big, big something. I feel like we're missing something here. Let's go. Nolan Arenado. There's a short print there. Cardinals going to Adam Harper. What's up, Adam Bomb? If you're watching, Adam, I don't know if you are. slow roll this one wander franco redemption it's about damn time oh. kevin dixon there you go Reparty. i just like i didn't even like slow roll i just i forgot it was even a redemption Sorry, yeah Reparty. there we go finally last break of the night too so hopefully those go for a lot I'm sure they will, also, though. Also, too, well, let me print labels for that. All right. All right, there's another Wander Franco right there. What I missed. Wander Franco Redemption. Oh, my God, these are spicy. Which ones? No, they're not. Oh, my God. Everybody loved them, though. Oh, I'm I just can't stop seeing Marin like, these are really good. And <laughs> she had them, like, in a cup. She had them, like, in a bowl. You want one? Yeah, I mean, just not right now. Oh. Just hold on to it, I guess. Just let me finish this. Yeah, it's too spicy for me. Oh, right here. How about this? Don't do that. Oh, whatever, then. <laughs> just come over here off camera. Just gonna block it. Albert Pujols. It's slipping. Let me finish this deck. Let me finish this deck. There's Welcome to the Show, Wander Franco. Um, I think they're just the normal 1978, so this one wasn't potentially numbered. Miguel Cabrera, Detroit Pride. Is she the girl that dope? Uh, no, she's a Russian. That's somebody else. No, not her. Uh, yeah, she's gonna perform right now, actually. She's performing, right? Right now, they're sweet, but oh my god, man. they're like a kick and burn. <laughs> Marin loved them. I was like, surprised. I was just that's like her face. She's like, These are really good. And I was what like, are, oh, I don't know. Are, you like, what are these again? I mean, it's just like it's yeah. like yeah. tahini, like a little gummy tree, right? Yeah, so like any gummies type, and then they put like tahini yeah, and they good. put like chamoy. Yeah. Sometimes they put a little spice. I overcommitted with this one.
That might help me wake me up, though. I know, that's what I was actually... That's why I took it. Yeah, me too. Oh, that's why she was crying. Her life is over. <laughs> America? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cali. California. All right. Last one. Sorry, Karen Chen. At least. No, that's not going to do it. That's brutal. Even then. But Alexander Alexander Lou, yeah, that's the that's the Russian girl. That's doping, one. doping, taking the drugs for a heart. It was her, it was a heart. I read about it. But apparently, like it increases heart rate and endurance, and like it just in minimizes minimizes fatigue. That's, crazy. That, that's kind of crazy, right? <laughs> Like okay, so like, so it's, so it's but my thing is, yeah. So my thing <laughs> is that, do they make these for specific people? Well, allegedly, well, is I just it, I was just hearing just a report just today where, where it was like that combined with a couple other things, mm. you know, that was also found in her system could lead to that sort of increased endurance gotcha. and a lot like less fatigue. Makes sense. I I can't believe she's fifteen though. <laughs> I think she looks older, younger. <laughs> I mean, I think she looks. Uh, I, don't, I think she, she looks. looks she looks like her face. She has a baby. Face. Yeah, it's a real baby face. But well, she's like, crazy they, that she's 15 in the Olympics. They, they put so much makeup on her, then she, yeah. then she looked kind of older. And then you look closer, yeah. and you're like, oh yeah, nope. <laughs> 15. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. She fell. She stumbled. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah. Purpose. Everyone's yeah. just cheering. I, that was on I don't know. No, I, I think maybe nerves got to her. I think she's. Well, they were Speaking just. About it, like, yeah, I think so. I think so. But like, my thing is that we had to figure out. Well, which, well, we'll never find out if she's the one that really wanted to take it. Or Can't they she gave just it to like her. remove herself? Or they gave it to her. I mean, she could have. She could have, but like someone else said, I can't do it. Like you know, something happened. Just can't do this. But I don't know. She's Russian, so I'm sure they're just like you're gonna perform. I don't care. You're they they do say it, yeah. you you're, you can yeah. still do it. <laughs> like you're gonna do it. Stuck here. There's Wander again. You think the judges are affected by all this now? Like, oh, the only reason why she landed mm. that or like she's doing Figure this. Figure skating is so traditionally like shady, <laughs> you know, like. Yeah. It's like, who knows? You know what I mean? It's just like. And Jose Brave, Chicago Pride. Number to 299. There's so much like politics and all the judging and all this. And like, it's like uh, gymnastics too. I don't do those two sports. Yeah, are like, yeah. just a lot of shadiness. Yeah. And just. Uh, really political, you know, and it was just really super intense for some reason. Bobby Dell back to 50. Nice pink. Future stars. Boston going to Matthews double field. And Julio Urias. That is... Jersey number seven out of 25. There you go. Dodgers, that's going to Mark. Mark L. She crying? Yeah. yeah. I don't know why you would force her to skip. I mean, maybe they're just like, you're, so, you're happy, right? <laughs> yeah. 76, Marika. For the Phillies. Yearling.
All right, guys. I think that's it. I just got to do the randomizer now. Nice. So we'll talk all of that stuff. Good job. Good job. Thanks, everybody. Anybody watch the whole thing? <laughs> I know. Right. I know. Who's, who's really with who's us? Who's really with who's us? Really with us right now. I want to applaud you. Especially if you're on the I'm East Coast. Extra stickers. <laughs> we should. We should. We should have had. Be. You know what we should have done? We should have had like secret code words throughout oh, like the. No, right. Oh, but then it'd be. It'd be secret code words when we're not recording. Yeah. You know, so if you rack up all the secret code words <laughs> and you give it to us at the end of the night. It's like you get break credit. Yeah, you get like 100 bucks wow. break credit. Well, there's still 12 people watching, so either they're all half asleep or. It's just these damn bots. They're always dropping stuff. The thing with figure skating, though, like in gymnastics, like I think you. You get on the team at 15, 16 years old, and then, like, by 18, you're done. Yeah. Like, they're just, like, you're out. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because, I don't know, your you're just body can't just you know can't what? handle that. ABC had a really good TV show. I can't remember the name of it. All right, guys, so we're going to randomize the customer names, uh -huh. and top two get a Series 1 Rip Party pack. We'll send that to you, see crazy. Their bodies just can't handle it, like, after... But like the dice roll. Here's the list. Your yes. 20s and 30s, early 30s, and yeah. still be able to compete. The big thing about the show that they like emphasize is like when you're younger, you're more fearless and like you just love right. it. Right. It, it, it gets, in, it gets into your head, yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go, guys. Roll it. Three and three, six times. Top two, get a package. One. Two. Three. So, uh, yeah, Four, like, when she was six, five, and I'm just, I'm, I'm, six, like, you know, my John and Brad Polly. There you go. So, John R nice. and packs. Brad P. Packs, 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 packs. Did Jason tell, tell you that uh, his sister? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. The Simone Biles was in town. Yeah. I was like, I was she like, she just got engaged yesterday. Who, uh, NFL player. Yeah, who? Uh, Tech, Houston Texans. But some, who's the? I, I forget, but. 82? Whoa, they gave her 82? Did they deduct yeah. anything? Appreciate it, guys. Thank you, guys. Yeah, JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. No,